Question 15b. The diagram shows the region bounded by the curve y equals 1 over x plus 3 and the lines x equals 0, x equals 45 and y equals 0. The region is divided into two parts of equal area by the line x equals k where k is a positive integer. What is the value of the integer k given that the two parts have equal areas? The following are the marking guidelines for question 15b. For one mark, we have obtained correct equation involving integrals or equivalent merit. For two marks, we have obtained correct equation involving logarithms or equivalent merit. And for three marks, we have provides correct solution. Since we are considering an area that is entirely above the x-axis, we can form an equation involving two definite integrals that represent the two equal areas. We have the integral from x equals 0 to x equals k of 1 over x plus 3 dx is equal to the integral from x equals k to x equals 45 of 1 over x plus 3 dx. Integrating both sides of this equation, we have ln of x plus 3 from x equals 0 to x equals k is equal to ln of x plus 3 from x equals k to x equals 45. Applying the limits of integration, we have ln of k plus 3 minus ln of 3 is equal to ln of 48 minus ln of k plus 3. Now adding ln of k plus 3 to both sides of this equation and also adding ln of 3 to both sides of this equation, we end up with 2 ln of k plus 3 is equal to ln of 48 plus ln of 3. Now ln of 48 plus ln of 3 is equal to ln of 144 by application of one of the logarithm laws since 48 times 3 is 144. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2, we end up with ln of k plus 3 is equal to half times ln of 144. Now half times ln of 144 is equal to ln of the square root of 144 by application of yet another logarithm law. And since we are equating two logarithms with the same base, the arguments of these logarithms must be identical. So k plus 3 must equal 12, which is the square root of 144, therefore k equals 9. The following is the feedback from the marking centre for question 15b. Skills addressed. Equating the two parts of equal area using definite integrals, finding primitive functions and solving the resulting logarithmic equation, and knowing that k is greater than 0 and discarding k equals negative 15. Areas for students to improve include using the correct order when substituting limits into the primitive function and solving logarithmic equations.